Yo. Yo. Going on. Night, man. Just, uh, you know, here celebrating the birthday, doing the podcast. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, bro. How old are you now, Prenner? 24. 24. 24. Oh. Yeah. Bro. Oh. 10 years yeah. younger than me. <laughs> 10. Yeah. It's cool. I'll <laughs> take it. I mean, no L's. <laughs> no L's, man. Getting on thirty four, you know that's mad. How did I yeah. get to? How did I get to thirty four? Do you know what? Yeah, my old man was telling me today it was like uh, not long till thirty. It scared me. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 no, man, it's crazy. But yeah, man. Mm, yeah. Sim racing podcast episode three, mm. talking about project cars, man. And in, in the whole Project Cars franchise in general, obviously we're going to come on to P Cars 3 and stuff like that, but P Cars, man, like where, where is it going? Where is it heading? After we had like, you know, a set of course of competition come out, obviously he's competing against iRacing and uh, he's competing against uh, GT Sport, I guess, because it's on console as well. So uh, yeah, it's crazy. Detox saying we're both, we're still both babies. You sure? Nah. I've been getting a couple back pains, detox man. Trust me, thirty four ain't no baby. I didn't, I didn't have no back pains in my twenties, man. <laughs> Serious. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, P cars, man. What what are we saying about P cars? Like, where, where is it going? Do you do you think that P cars can sort of, I don't know, like, be that game again? Because for me, when P cars one came out, especially P cars one, when that came out, geez, that was like that was the game for me. I didn't want to play no other game. It was all about P Cars One, and then um, with P Cars Two, there was a lot of hype, like crazy hype for that game. And I was hyped because of how much I enjoyed the first one. But I just it was something not right with that game for me personally. I know, obviously, both both of the Project Cars had loads of bugs and landmine mm. bugs and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, they've done a lot of good things in that game as well. But for me, what, what I was expecting from P Cars, it just for me, it never delivered, but obviously, I I sort of met you on PCAR. So how, what was PCAR's like for you? Yeah, man. I mean, PCAR's. I mean, the first one was probably the best one. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed that one a lot more. I played it a lot more than PCAR's too. And uh, obviously, I got the GT3, you know, buzz. Should I say when I met you guys and stuff? Yeah. It's for. But even then, like for me, yeah, I feel like like even when it come down to like breaking turning like the physics it just went for me in it yeah yeah you know you're advertising a sim based game and it's not really sim is it yeah that's that for me that's what kind of in a way kind of turned me off it a little bit more and i yeah. think as well if because we made the progression from console to to pc and honestly on the pc it does feel better especially if you can get there is it jack spades force feedback files it feels better yeah. but sometimes what i actually experienced on the console was just it was just like what even is this man you know <laughs> the days when you you put in practice and then you get to the race and it feels like Completely. like yeah like you're driving on an ice rink like <laughs> it just used to feel completely weird you know what i mean like i never used to I, I just didn't get how that managed to happen i know obviously in real life um conditions change but sometimes it just felt undrivable i literally remember having to set the lambo up on ps4 every every race every track max wing just max wing do you know what i mean wow. like because like i just felt like the back end was just all over the place i just couldn't control the car it just felt weird to me and i was having to drive in a way that wasn't even natural to me and i feel like anytime you have to completely change the way how you drive when You've been driving at a decent standard for many, a, many a years. Something's mm. wrong with that. You know what I mean? And um, I just, I just think that uh, I'll put it like this: we, at the same time, we was playing uh, P Cars too. We also had a set of Corsa, and it was like you can go from a set of Corsa. I actually had I racing in twenty seventeen on another PC, which is a bit crap, but I could go from I racing to uh, a set of Corsa, and I could drive the exact same way. But if you try to take that way to P cars, you would have no speed. 
you, the way you have to drive on P cars is completely different to any other game for me personally. When I played Race Room, I could drive how I drive in a set of cars. Like it was all similar, but with with um P cars, it was just totally different the way I had to play the game. You know what I mean, and I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't enjoy the way I had to drive, and it used to annoy me. You know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> I don't know. I just thought I thought there would be more. Like, don't get me wrong, the tracks they had, they got a good number of tracks. They got a, a great variety when it comes to all the different classes and stuff like that. Obviously, we had, what, like 14, 15, 16 even GT3 cars. So in that sense, mm. they did a lot. They did a lot with their weather. They did a lot with, um, you know, stuff we ain't seen before, like the, the way how they, they made the transition from night to day and stuff like that. That was all cool, man. I mean, yeah. I'm not going to knock them for that. Like when they introduced like, the puddles and all that stuff was, was sick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But I feel like they tried to push too much into the game before it was ready. And that's where you start getting all the bugs. You know what I mean? I felt yeah. like a lot of the setups didn't actually make sense. You know what I'm saying? When you're setting your car up, you could do stuff that don't make any yeah. sense that you couldn't do in any other game and you can get away with it because it was just just like whatever and I, I didn't like that about p cars you know what i mean mm. and i feel like the fastest way around the corner was mm. sideways <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 great late turn it sideways you know there you go that's that's the fastest way and that, to me that don't make sense yeah yeah make- i've seen it like and i i don't know what it was man i don't honestly i don't know i don't know whether it was a live track 3.0 that made me sort of just fall out of love with the game a bit or whether I just I just don't know because P Cars One wasn't the most realistic game. It wasn't the like super sim, but I enjoyed that game a lot. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I enjoyed the way yeah. how you could race. I enjoyed the driving and I know that wasn't a super sim. So in my head I'm thinking, why why did I just not enjoy the driving? Like the way I had to drive on P Cars two. What was it about that game that turned mm. me off from, you know, being being like obsessed with it obviously i made a load of videos for it and stuff like that but that was more for people who wanted setups not actually for myself because i could get quite bored easily um driving on p cars too but on p cars one i was fine i could play that game by myself all day long no problem so um i don't know what it was about the game in it but um I- i'm hoping that in the future they can get it right but I just, I don't know. I think with a set of course of competition only coming out and GT3, whatever anyone says, that is the main ballpark of Project Cars. I don't care what no one says. GT3 yeah. is the main part of that game. Maybe GTE as well. But the problem was it was the balance. So because a lot of the other classes wasn't that balanced, it just always led people back to GT3 all the time. Most of the online lobbies were GT3. So I feel like with a set of course being out, it's, I don't know, man. Like, mm. can can you honestly see them coming out with something that can rival, you know, a set of Corsa in terms of its GT3 class? No. I feel like a set of Corsa for me is like the pinnacle so far. I mean, you got iRacing and whatnot, which is really good for like competition based sort of thing. Yeah. But like a set of Corsa, you know, it's all over. It, project cars effectively. I mean, because I, I, I haven't played it in ages. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? When was the last time you've been on Project Cars? <sighs> Boy, I went, on, I went on there today to get a couple of screenshots. That was about it. <laughs> exactly. That was about it. Exactly. Like, I mean, it's... Go, go on. on. No, no, you go. So, I mean, it's, it's for me, like, you know, I got off P Cars because I fell in love with the, uh, the sim on a set of Corsa and how it felt and the driving. Because right, the driving right, right. was fun. I think it comes down to the driving. Because even on P Cars 1, I mean, though it weren't like too realistic, the driving was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can have close races. You know, you didn't have to do these crazy things to be far. Yeah, yeah. It was very sort of... Uh, it was fun, like I was saying anyway. I actually said um, what Chloe just said then, the soft tyres feel, feel good mm. actually, much closer to a race car than the drift missile. And that was the thing. Like, yeah. soft tyres, to me, actually felt more normal than the hard tyres. The hard tyres just felt like you're just driving on bricks, circle bricks with just no grip whatsoever. And you have to get used to driving a car sideways. And to me, driving a car sideways is slower, unless you're doing rally. You know what oh, I mean? You know, it's just come to my head now. Weren't the soft tyres, yeah, in right. quality, 
the understeer like after like three or four laps. Yeah, like, it was I mean just before that, pure understeer. I remember like a lot of the time I used to do my quality laps on um, softs because I was using the McLaren, so I could just about get away with it. And I would mm. drive so slow on the out lap, it was insane. And then by the time you get to the end of your lap, like if you had like a, like a tight corner, it was not turning, like not right. happening. Do you know what I mean? It was, it's weird, man. It's weird. Like their, their take on soft tires is very weird. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And the people who say, yes, yeah, because they got more grip, it constitutes to more understeer. Like, I don't understand none of that. Soft tires are soft tires. I mean, it, soft tires are supposed to give you more grip, and especially. Okay, you might get more understeer on soft tires if the if the conditions are too hot yeah. when they start to burn up. But a lot of the time in AOR, we used to drive in some pretty cool conditions, so the tires shouldn't even have been burning up and just couldn't steer the car around tight corners. It was a joke. But again, like they they did do a lot of things right. There, there's certain things that set a course I could take from from a. Uh, from project cars like the, the menus the way you could just quickly go and set up a lobby or set up a private lobby invite your friends and stuff like that all them kind of things are perfect all the mm. the way you know when you want to go change your settings all these things that's all great you know what i mean but the i feel like the main game though lacking and i tell you why i think part of that was i think they just tried to do too much with all this i remember i remember the um the dev diaries and they had the uh they were doing the the talking about are they going to have like a cross what's it that rally stuff in it and they're talking about all this rip grip and all that. i'm thinking rip grip huh? <laughs> what is that what the hell is a rip grip <laughs> you know what, I mean? what does that even mean because i feel yeah. like you can't put a load of different physics into one game and one genre not affect another you know what i mean so you had the rally genre and it's no surprise that in races the fastest way around the corner was sideways you know what I mean? So I feel like they should just focus on one thing, man. Like, is it possible Project Cars has got a future? It probably does have a future, but I feel like it needs to it needs to be clear. Don't come out saying you're some 100% sim when that's not what you're trying to do. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if you come out saying that, people are going to be disappointed. You know what I mean? If you look at, look at GT Sport, everyone, well, they actually did say they're a sim. Everyone knows that game ain't no sim. But listen, the way they've done it, the, the fan base obviously it did have a big fan base the fan base is crazy yeah you know what i mean and i'll bring one thing up as well that live event project cars 2 through was garbage <laughs> i have to say it man it was like no, I, I you're honest <laughs> yeah i'm being real i'll tell you what yeah, yeah. i feel like i could throw a better organ a better um event. I, feel, I feel like i could throw a better event than that Mm. It looked like it was literally thrown together. You know what I mean? And that's not fair on the people that... The top guys in the game. You know what I mean? They they made it to the final. They should have been treated to something special. Oh. You understand? Mm. So mm. when we saw like um, CJ's friend, uh, Five Zygon, in the GT Sports final, and you saw the event that they had, it was like, wow. Like mm. I don't rate the game whatsoever, but I actually watched it just because of how the event looked. You know what I mean, track. yeah, yeah, it, it was attractive. Even if you look at the F1 series, obviously they got probably got a lot more backing. So does GT Sport, whatever. But F1, come on, yeah. man, yeah, yeah, like come on, man, that was that was just that was poor. You know what I mean, you had two guys there, microphone. You know what I mean, even even what race department's done, even even <laughs> what race department's done for a set of course where they're taking all the drivers to each each round of the yeah, Blanc Pain. Yeah, you know what I mean? Cool. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just like, come on, man. Like, you, you could do more. <laughs> I, do you know how, do you know, I, feel, I feel like, uh, I feel like Project Cars gave up on their own game halfway through. I remember mm. when we was having all these talks about this DLC is supposed to be coming, these tracks are supposed to be coming, and then nothing else came, no updates came. It was just like, where have these guys gone? They've just like, they've got the money for the game and they're, they're out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, even the updates yeah uh, updates um let's read some of the comments here <clears throat> um chloe says yeah you have to create a whole new setup for softs which yeah which is pretty much what i had to do and i had to put the brake bias as rearwards as possible just to get the front of the car to turn in um 
Detox live events at Cryptics confirmed. Yeah, man, trust me. Oh, hey, listen. Cheers. It will be crazy. It will be crazy. It won't just be sim racing. There'll be a hot dog stand, all sorts. It's going down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everyone likes a hot dog, mate. But, um, G- like, GT Sport, yeah, like, the. I don't like the game. I don't like the way... I don't even like the way the game actually looks in terms of graphics. I think it just looks cartoony. Like, they use that photorealism stuff and it just looks more fake to me. But I cannot hate when it comes to it. When it comes to their live events, I don't think anything's rivaling that in sim racing at the moment. Not even iRacing. And iRacing's on TV. I think mm. in America now. You know what I mean, it's literally on TV. But that, that whole event that they, they ran, tsh, boy... That was crazy. I mean, there's big rewards with it as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. look at that guy. It was it Ego Fraga. He's yeah. doing like Formula 4 now as well. So, so I mean, so, I mean <laughs> these, these guys are actually getting somewhere out of it. You know what I mean? I, I'll be honest. The best thing that uh, Project Cars did was link up with AOR. That's pretty much it, mate. Honestly. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, th- you think of how much... A, look at... Half of the top drivers on P cars have at yeah. some stage been in AOR. You know what I mean? It's literally the thing keeping keeping that game alive, I feel like. You know what I mean? But um Detox says the leaderboards on Xbox still don't work to this day. Still don't work. <laughs> How can you have leaderboards that don't work? How old is P cars too? It's like two years older. <laughs> and it still don't work. Alright, that's crazy. I remember when it first came out, like I bought like the full edition and stuff, played it, said you were Cheese, Rich. <laughs> no, no, yeah. I do you know what, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Cause I'll say this is this is how my, my Project Cars journey started, right? I jumped on P Cars One on the PS PS4 and I just had to get rid of my wheel, my Logitech Driving Force GT, which I loved. I got rid of it, started playing on the pad, and I got told I, I I'm not fast enough on the pad and I'm a danger on track. Yeah, so I couldn't join no league. So I waited till I got my wheel, got my wheel, started practicing, got semi decent. And it was only towards the end of P Cars 1 where I got like really fast. So I couldn't wait for P Cars 2 to come out because I thought, yep, I got the speed down. Mm. P Cars 2 came out and I remember da- actually downloading it. And while it was downloading, all you could do was drive the, the 720S road car um, around Long Beach. Bro, oh, yeah. you remember that, bro? I yeah. hit, I hit the brakes and the car went straight. I said, you know, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, you know what? I don't, I don't know if this game's for me. That in my head, I was thinking, right, like the car feels weird. It, like it feels yeah. weird. Do you know what I mean? But I thought, nah, it's it's cool. It's not a GT3. It's yeah. cool. It's cool. Yeah, Wait for the, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I, in my mind, I was thinking, raw. Like the way how the physics feel, I might struggle with this. So. Yeah. Um, I jumped. Uh, I waited for the full game to download. Then I jumped into what the first car I drove might have been the um, McLaren um, 650. And I thought, oh, this car feels decent. And Wait, then, wasn't the car the fastest at the time as well? We fastest. thought we thought it was the fastest, but what it turned out, it turned out that Marley was just super quick in the McLaren. <laughs> and then once we got into the Ferrari, we realized that the Ferrari was just on a different level. And then that, yeah. I remember for a good season, that totally pissed me off that they made the Ferrari <laughs> so much faster than anything else. Like, And I'm that guy. I refuse to use the fastest car. Do you know what I mean? So I, I remember I jumped in the Audi and that was the first test season. We had an AOR and I'm getting rinsed by the Ferrari. The Ferrari's got better tire wear. It's frigging, it, it works. Not even tire wear. The, the tires would work in cold conditions. So you could heat the tires up and then it was rapid high altitude tracks it was beasting and i was thinking what is this balance of performance they've got in this game you know mm. i mean the audi felt great but you just couldn't do nothing you know what i mean and then after that it was just like uh, they need to patch the ferrari or aoy needs to stop letting people pick the ferrari and then that happened and then it turned into a lambo amg show and the rest is pretty much history fine i'll admit though i did enjoy myself more on pc than i did on ps4 mm. PS4, mm. and uh, I guess only the guys who were uh, maybe on Xbox will will be able to explain. But for us on PS4, the difference was like I'm not saying that PC is faster. I don't think like I went faster on PC, but the feeling of the game 
was way better. Way better. You know what mm. I mean? So, there was a big controversy about that as well, wasn't there? Yeah, about yeah. About being a bit faster or, you know, PS4 having the edge over certain tracks. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to be one of them guys. You know, one of them guys who's never tried Project Cars on a, on a, on a PC. And I used to watch the, um, the live streams, AOR live streams of the PC guys. I think, ah, they got way more grip. You know what I mean? We'd be <laughs> right up there. Yeah. Listen, the first race I jumped over from PS4 to yeah. PC lapped. I said, oh shit. <laughs> I said, I ain't doing no races. I'm going to practice a couple of weeks before I jump in any AMR leagues, but I got lapped. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought I could do that. Let me drive the Renault RSO 1 GT3 because I got pace. Jesus. <laughs> you know I mean, Algarve or Algrave, whoever it is, got destroyed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I said, no more. And then <laughs> it was done. But I, it, it does feel better on um, it does feel better on the PC. I don't think it's no quicker, but the grip levels is like, I don't know it's weird. On PS4, it's just. It's I feel just like PS4 weird. is a bit stiff. Yeah, like and PC. Like you know what it is, yeah. The braking on PS4, the moment you hit the brakes, is locking up. On on mm. PC, it's like there was like more leeway there. But on PS4, you used to lock the brakes so easy. I, I used to run my brake pressure so much higher on PC than I did on console. Like, I literally couldn't do the same thing. You know what I mean? You you can't use an identical setup from PC to PS4 and it feel identical. You know what I mean? I had to change something. And then that was, that's where I was like, ah. We, we never had the, the, P, the PC experience before when it was on PS4. So we just felt like the game was just... Just very, very low on grip, and the cars just should be sketchy all the time. Yeah. And I, I can never use any anything low on wing, otherwise I'm gonna end up binning. But PC was better. But I still, I, I just didn't, just didn't like it like that. Not as not as much as P cars one. I had some fantastic races that I can still remember to this day. Some of my best sim races ever were on P cars one. So I'm not like a, I'm not like a. Um, a hater to project cars, but I feel like they could have done better. P cars too. Mm. Let's read some of the comments. Um, AOR secretly listening to this podcast. Sweet. I love it. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, that was what Wolf said. The feel of the car is completely different on PC compared to Xbox. Yeah, man. And obviously Wolf, look, listen, Wolf came over here and he was destroying stuff. So I know the man knows what he's talking about. I don't know exactly how it felt on Xbox because they could have been feeling something even more different. You know what I mean? And I tell you what, Xbox must have felt terrible and I'll tell you why. If you look at half of the guys, half the fastest guys on P cars, they've all come from Xbox. So when they got that PC grip, all of a sudden it's like they found eight temps. You know what I'm saying? It must have been. Yeah. I mean, I know Dow King, Suomi, um, Wolf, Operator, ADA, so all these guys, they all came over from Xbox. And obviously, you know, they're straight towards the front of the grid on in the on the elite side of things on PC. So must have been sat in there. But um I, I'm more interested in PCAS free. I want to talk about PCAS free right now. Um and what is gonna be going on with this game. What are you expecting from PCAS free? Change. <laughs> Change. Physics. Less Change. variety. I mean more focus like you're saying as well. Yeah. So, it's a better, a better game overall, isn't it? So what, what um, Project Cars has got now, what would you get rid of and what would you like to see changed? Oh, I'd like to see change how you'd go through a corner differently. You know what I'm saying? If you get what I mean, like yeah. not, not having to go sideways or, you know, break ridiculously late in, in GT3 cars. When you know, and sometimes when you break late in P cars too, mm. around certain corners, especially tight ones as well, you can break really late, make it through the corner, you know, drift a bit, yeah, and yeah. still like still have time, if you get what I mean. I remember trying to explain this to someone before, and they were arguing with me. <laughs> and I said, like, this, yeah. is, this is the one corner to me that proves my point. The hairpin at Hockenheim, yeah? I'm, oh, yeah. Like, for instance, yeah, like Carl. You know, like, um, we say Carl, MTR Marley, for those who don't know. Yeah. Look how late Carl breaks, yeah? On, I don't know many people that could break outbreak Carl, but he used to make it to an apex and break so late 
it was just like there's no way in hell that is realistic. And if you yeah. if you look at the line into that hairpin, you used to sort of you could almost break, not even all the way out wide on the left. You could break in the middle of the track and you broke towards the apex, which didn't actually make no sense. You know what I mean? You don't actually like square off the corner and try and focus on your exit. It's almost as if you drive towards the apex, get the car slowed down, and the car just used to like spin like it's on the axis, just flick round and then stamp your foot down and you're gone out the other way. It's like it's not a realistic way to take that corner. It doesn't make you can even do that on the F one game. So how can you do that on the set of course? Not a set of course, um project cars. Cars, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I've never understood that that whole physics of the way the car just swaps around. And even now, when I watch the videos, it just seems like everything's just sideways. I don't understand. Why are the cars so sideways? It's baffling. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. I mean, that's not how you go through a corner fast. All right, do you know, you know what? If you, if, if you was to do that in a real track, yeah. yeah <laughs> you're not slowing down. Detox, yeah. Detox hit the nail on the head. And a lot of people don't remember um f1 2014 because it was trash but that is exactly how you used to have to drive the cars in 2014 on f1 2014 i, ex- play. I played that game it was garbage yeah <laughs> it was actually it was actually faster on the pad that game yeah but um i remember what we used to do on, on, on f1 2014 where you'd gear down and like you, it'll be a second gear corner, but you'd slap it into first just to get the uh, just to get the nose into the corner, and then straight back up into second. And it was like it was so fast, but you know, like you couldn't do that in real life. You'd be like killing the gearbox. Like you know I mean, it made no sense how you had to drive the game. And that's that's what I don't I didn't like. But for me, um, P cars free. What I would like to see changed. Like I want to see them scrap half the crap they're doing. And I feel like if they're gonna compete with the the let's face it, the games that are just better at the moment. Like the way how they could compete, they could actually focus on getting a lot of the tracks that other games don't have. You know what I mean? Mm. Get a lot of the tracks that other games don't have. Get a lot of classic tracks or, you know, tracks that were used in like F1. You know, you got like like Turkey. Maybe 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 they yeah. could allow modding and stuff like this. You know what I mean? Like yeah, if, if, yeah. if they're not gonna, if it's not gonna be the super sim, allow some leeway for other things to excite people. You know what I mean? Get rid of all these. Like the test tracks, like what's it called? Mavo- what's that track called? Majova, Majo, whatever the hell the track was called. Why? Oh yeah, that one. Why did you have that track? It made no sense. <laughs> Never drove it. It don't make <laughs> no sense. I drove it just to just to drive it, and then when I was driving it, I was feel like, why am I even driving this? You know what I mean, I would never test here. You know what I mean, like <laughs> get rid of the stuff you don't need. Get rid of all the. That 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 was that that snow track was it in Sweden when you could drive the Mercedes in the snow? Yeah. What for? Who actually sat there after hours like you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go drive a Mercedes in the snow by myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get rid yeah. of that. Get forget all the rally stuff. We don't need that. You know what I mean, that's what dirt's for. Let them take care of that. Just focus on the on track stuff. You guys can make your own BOP. It looks like. So make your BOP close together. Make it accurate. You've got GT4s. You could bring out a bunch of touring cars. You've got GT3s. Yeah. Like you could, they've got so many avenues where they could even, you know, they could do stuff that other games ain't doing correctly. And they could do it better. GT Sport has got a lot of stuff like that as well. But, I mean, you've seen mm-hmm. guys in a flipping uh, a Mini, or not a Mini, a bloody um, Volkswagen competing against GT3s. And I, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, that make no sense. It just looks stupid to me. But they could actually BOP their own game so everything's like really close and then it looks better on stream. And that's another thing. Their their cameras, angles, their TV cam is terrible. You know what I mean? The TV cameras are terrible. Because yeah. like, it's like, I, I don't even care if it's not laser scan tracks and ultra accurate and stuff like that. But please, man, the TV cameras, bro. I can't, I, it's hard to watch. Are there tracks laser scan then? Um, uh, me personally, I don't think so. There might, there's probably a few, but yeah, you know, I've seen their set of course of laser scan. That's that's that is lasered down. Yeah, you know I mean, legit. the curbs, yeah. everything's in the in the exact place. Do you know what I mean? But not everything like F1 ain't laser scanned, and it's the official F1 game. It doesn't have to be laser scanned. It just has to be 
fun to play with some decent handling physics and a decent BOP so we can actually race each other without all having to pick the same car all the time. You know mm. what I mean, how many seasons after the Ferrari got banned and everyone started abusing that and then the Lambo became the car, we were just seeing everybody in the Lambo. The whole field is full up of Lambos. Boring to watch. You know what I mean? One you, mate race. That's it. If you look at my birthday race, three cars won, two hour endurance race, and I managed to get quite a few esports drivers up in there. Just saying, I can organize them events, but um, we yeah, had yeah. we had on P cars one we had at Road America. I think the first seven guys were all in different cars, and everyone the first first ten was separated like by two temps, and everyone was in a different car. You know what I mean, you could never get that on P cars two. Not happening. You know what I mean, and let me read some of your comments. Um. We use this technique when racing with road cars on open road in the original AC. What technique was this? So that's like sort of because on the original AC you can like slam down on the gears. Right, right. Oh, oh right, right. To right. sort of stabilize the front end. You know what I'm saying? Right. And damage the gearbox or anything. But you know how you have like shift protectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On some GT threes, that one just does have it on the road. Car. Right, just don't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't believe you should be able to drive that um, way. No, no. Even though I did it, I did it to be fast on P cars too. But you had to do it. What else am I supposed to do? Just gear down normally and watch people fly down the inside. <laughs> I had to do it. I didn't want to. I was made. I was forced. You know what I mean, yeah. but it's just I don't know, man. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for any real news about P cars three. All I've heard really is that they're going to be helping auto automobilista. Why are you helping someone else when you haven't even sorted out your own game? You know what I mean? This is what I don't understand. Why are you, you know, giving them any sort? That's a rival, first of all. So this doesn't fill me with any confidence in PCAR's free because it's like you're helping out your competitors, but you've got, a, you've got a game that you need to bring out yourself with a game that you had that you sort of fell short on, that you kind of gave up on because a lot of the updates that you promised never even came out. You know what I mean? So, like, why are you helping out anybody else? Because from from what I've been told, the force feedback on Auto Ballista was crazy. So if you're going to be giving them a helping hand with their live track and all this kind of stuff, then what future does your own game have? Who the hell is going to go and play your game if you make Auto Ballista a better game than what you can bring out yourself? It don't make no sense. Yeah. I mean, so for me, I don't have no confidence in PCAST 3. I will get it because I'm stupid. But (laughs) at the end of the day, it's just like, is it going to have that longevity? Obviously, if you look at sales and stuff, P cars sells a lot because it's on three different platforms and whatnot. Mm. But are you just going to pick it up, play it? Oh, doesn't feel great, and then you just go back to what you was doing before? Because I've got a feeling that's what's coming. I hope not. I feel like, I feel like if they was sort of like concentrate on like customizing the physics. I mean, whatever happened to having a GT three game and where you're able you know, set up a lobby normally, you know, do your liveries and stuff, your customized liveries and whatnot normally, mm. like on GT Sport and stuff, but have like the good physics and the proper racing physics as well. It's like, to me, yeah, mm. it's like they're looking at all these games and thinking, all right, well, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Detox made a good point. Do you think they gave up on PCAS 2 to concentrate on the mad box they're supposed mm. to be making? Yeah, um, what is that? They're supposed to be their own console. Ain't no one buying that shit. Who the hell's gonna buy a console from from a company that couldn't even complete their game properly? You know what I'm saying? Mm. Who's who's gonna do that? But I feel like that the console industry. This is a whole another topic, but it's locked down now, man. PlayStation, Xbox, um, Nintendo, Wii, and all that. Listen, it's a hard industry to even try and break through. If you if you're gonna try and break through that, your track record has got to be immaculate, and theirs ain't. So they should give up on that map, that whatever mad box, whatever it's called. Forget about that. Focus on building your game the best way you can, and then maybe people be interested in your other products. But the fact that to me it felt like they kind of just gave up on the game. I swear there was supposed to be like more DLC coming. It just never even dropped. I remember they were talking about yeah, we're gonna get into Lagos and. All these other tracks is like really? I mean, I was I was I was waiting for that. Never even <laughs> happened. 
Yeah. I mean, they gave us stuff like the the Porsche, the Porsche test track. And it was like, why? Did anyone, <laughs> did anyone use that for a race? I didn't see no yeah, races yeah, around there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. They gave us the Porsche test track. They gave us, um, what's that Ferrari test track that you could only test in a Ferrari? And it was just, what Magello? No, Magello. I like Magello actually. That was a that was something good they did. Um, Fiorano is it called? Oh, Fiorano was on the game, but you could only go on the track if you was in the Ferrari, which obviously is probably Ferrari's orders. But it's just like it's not That's even cool. that important, bro. Just why you yeah. just I'd rather you get a track like. Like classic tracks like um, what's the track called? A Manicor. Something, something. One of them, you know, the, the French GP Manicor or Turkey or friggin' Valencia. I don't know anything. Korea. You know what I mean, Shang Internationals, flipping Sepang. There's so many tracks out there. They're getting tracks that you can only use in certain cars. Why? Waste of time. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. Crazy, though, what they're doing with their mad box. I'm just reading up on it. Yeah, yeah. It's they're trying. Listen, they're trying to do stuff in it, and yeah. you know, Computer, it's yeah, PS Five, Xbox Two as well. Listen, <laughs> ain't no listen, ain't no one gonna say. You know what? I ain't getting a PS Five. I'm gonna get myself a mad box. Who yeah, the hell's gonna? Hey, <laughs> who's gonna do that? <laughs> you know what I mean, who that, bro? I'm a PlayStation guy. I wouldn't even buy an Xbox. Because I'm a PlayStation guy. Let alone some other console that's just come out of the woodwork. I learned my lesson back in the day when I bought a Dreamcast. You know what I'm saying? I learned my lesson, man. I had a Dreamcast. It was the worst decision I ever made. I'm telling you, waste of time. Stick to PlayStation or Xbox if that's what you're into. But obviously, we've got PC, so you can do a bit of both or whatever. <clears throat> but Murph says, wouldn't it be ironic if Risa Studios with Auto Ballista 2 with their SMS engine. Oh, stop it. Please don't. So, oh, if they if they smashed it with the SMS engine, that would be funny. Oh, and I wouldn't be surprised either. And David Wright said, why would it be ironic? I just get the feeling that they are going to nice the physics compared to Picard. So I, I believe they'll do a better job because from what I heard, Auto Ballista, um, the first one, the, the physics were like, I've got a friend saying that they're the best physics he's felt in terms of sim racing games, that's better than AC, ACC, IRACE, and all of them. He said that they've that's got the best physics easy. Do you know what I mean? So I'll be surprised if they even want to change that part of their game. Maybe they just want to advance graphically. And obviously, graphically, P cars is pretty nice. I'm not gonna nice. lie, P P cars is pretty nice graphically. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shun them on, on that side of things, but I don't know, man. Like, I believe, of course, it's got a future because of how many people played it. You just look at the AOR AM, community and the game was large. You know what I mean? But can they, can they sustain that? You know what I mean? Can they be, like, trustworthy? Because I feel like, too, like, PCAR's one. I love the game, don't get me wrong. But mm. some of the glitches in that game were insane. I'm telling mm. you. The amount of times I got launched into the sky and spun around and the car was I think crushed. I disappeared one time. Oh. Disappeared like underneath the circuit. Yeah, well. I've, I've had all sorts, bruv. All <laughs> sorts. You know what I mean? I used to have the ones where I'm driving and then the car just stops dead. You know what I mean? Mm. I mean, I had, um, I had a few landmine bombs. It looked like I drove over a landmine. It threw me up into the air and completely just destroyed my car. Um... I had a lot of them in AOR as well. Do you know what I mean? A lot of them in AOR. And that was annoying. Because it was, it was affecting my races. I would come in. It was something like, if you came in late to the lobby, it just used to mess with you. So I'd get home. I'd get home from work, chill for a bit, and then I'd have to jump in the lobby. like, And I'd jump in, in qualifying. And I'd start going around the corner. And then I'd just hit this crazy glitch. And my car would just start shaking. And it would just break. And then ruin my quality. I'm starting in the back. Season's finished. You know what I mean, happened to me about three or four times. Um, in PCAST two as well, I, I was doing I was doing unthinkable. I was actually winning on PS4. I was winning on uh, Long Beach in the in the Renault RSO one, and then first it just cuts off. Like it's like almost like my steering just cuts off, puts me into the wall. But I was in a straight, so I like slid across the wall, 
but I was okay because I was still leading. And then the next lap, the the pause menu just jumps up and slams me straight into a wall. It's just like, what the... I didn't know whether it was my T300 or the game, but it always used to happen on P cars. It never used to happen on anything else. So for me, that was the game. You know what I mean, I don't know what was what was the problem, but when I went to PC, all that stuff just stopped. So it was weird, man. Very, very weird. I don't know. I don't really know what all that was about. And I don't know why it hadn't been patched from the first game. Because the same things used to happen in that. So it's weird. What What are you expecting from PCARS 3? Are they finally going to sort that stuff out? Do they even care enough? Because they're not... I don't see anyone talking about it. There was a lot of hype around PCARS 2. There was even a bit of hype around PCARS 1. Where is the hype for PCARS 3? You know I mean, I think that these guys have made their money. And it's like, yep, see you later. I mean, make a... <laughs> say, say that again. You cut out. They're gonna make a console now. Yeah, yeah. that's where that's where all the money's gonna that's go. Where it's all gone. That's where it's gone to. Yeah. When when is it, when is is it, have they got a release date? Um, what on the console? No, on the uh, on PCAS three. I don't think we have. Have we? Nah. Literally, I've tried. Do you know? What? I haven't even tried looking to. You know what I'm but saying that, that, I don't think that... Because you'd normally see something on, like, Twitter or something by now. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. 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 I, I don't know, man. Like, for me, it's like... If you look at... One, one of the main problems for me, I think, with Project Cars, where they could actually improve a lot, something simple. Get the balance right, please. <laughs> get the balance right. That's all they got to do. That, that's one thing that I'll prove their game tenfold. You've got a GT4 class with a Janetta that's way faster than anything else. You know what I mean? So what is the point of having that class when one car just clearly is way quicker than everything else? It, it neutralizes the whole class. You know what I mean? That, that's the problem. That's why I feel like when you went online, all you were seeing is GT3 lobbies because people already knew there ain't no real point doing anything else because 90% of the other classes are not even balanced. You know what I mean, you can't actually get a proper race unless you're running the same friggin' cars. So yeah. get get the balance right. You know what I mean? It's not like they're well, I don't know. I assume that they're not adhering to any actual BOP. They're sort of making up as they go along. You know what I mean? Because if they were, then the cars would have been a lot closer. If they were like you know going from Long Pains BOP or whatever. Do you know what I mean? You just see like they were, I know like people say, yeah, but look look to Heidi, he was able to do this and I'm not talking about a, a guy who's an alien who can get time out of pretty much any car. I'm talking about in general consensus, if you jump in a Z four, you ain't keeping up with no one in a Lambo in it. It's simple. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. I'm just sorry to cut you there. Um I just reading a uh yeah. a little post on it. It okay. says Project Cars Three is in very early pre production. According to Slightly Mad Studio CEO Ian Bell, who posted a series of messages on the GT Planet forums to clarify the game's direction to, compared to the previous installment, basically, right. they, they don't have an announcement or anything yet. Wow. Well, this, is, this was written early on this year, though, to be fair. Yeah. But, you know, we're getting towards the end of the year. There's always no PCAR 3 announcement or anything yet. Yeah. Um... David Wright says, surely they will wait for the next-gen consoles. They might well do. Mm. I think that's probably only the only logical thing they can probably do. Smart yeah. mm -hmm. And then I guess it'll give them like a fresh start because people are like, oh, what's it going to be with the new graphics and the new this and the new that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it may give them some more leeway. Um, Wasn't PCAR's one like that as well with the PS4? Yeah, P yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that come out? Yeah, P PCAR's came out on PS4. Not PS3, so yeah. Mm. But I mean, what they're gonna do? Leave it, leave it each generation before they upgrade to a new friggin' game. You know what I mean, mm. like you ain't got that much content. Let's be real, isn't it? You know I mean, your game ain't that sweet. You can't leave us for that long with no nothing else. But what will end up happening is people will just end up playing other stuff, and then you just start. It's like people who play iRacing. They play Aries and for long enough they get to a point where they don't even want to play nothing else. You know what I mean? They're like, ah, yeah, this game's decent, but Aries is better. And then they're back to Aries. You know what I mean? That's what's going to end up happening to PCAR, so don't get their finger out. I don't want to see no more lazy work. I want to see stuff getting done. You know what I mean? I want to enjoy the game again. 
because you, you can have fun races, but the game's got to feel better. That's the first thing, because, cheese. I don't know what this game was, honestly. <laughs> um, David Wright says, they were working on a Fast and Furious when PCAS 2 came out. I think this will be next game from SMS. Right, right. Yeah, so man. they're working on Fast and Furious? No, they, they were. When, when PCAS 2 came out, they were working on Fast and Furious. And... Um, Conan Belgian. Is it OTL Conan Belgian? Project Cars has a great future. You think? Explain to me why. I need some I need some back into that statement. Let's talk about this. Explain to me why you think Project Cars has a great future. I would like to know that one. I mean I still expect the game to sell, but I feel like the competition has been you know, the, the competition is at a very high level at the moment. Even, let's say, let's just put it down what it is. Project Cars is a simcade. You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they try and make it a little bit sim, but it's, it's mostly arcade. Yeah. 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 Right now, GT Sport is the king of simcade. In, in term, like, it's, GT Sport ain't even on any other console apart from PS4. But look what they're doing. You know what I mean? It's one platform as well. Yeah, yeah. It's one platform and look what they are doing. They're getting people from PC into exactly. buying the PS4 player. They, they're getting some of the top esports guys from PC, guys on iRacing, to jump on a bloody PS4 to go on GT Sport. You know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's what they're doing. And it's a Simcade. I don't even, in fact, I don't even think it's a Simcade. It's just a Cade. But what they're putting on, the events that they, they're, they're doing, what these guys are getting for winning these events, they're actually getting a chance in real life racing. I don't know. Look at a. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Logitech. Yeah, yeah. Logitech final. Right, right. Uh, that's P cars, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's the only, I'd say, good thing I've seen so far with it, that Logitech. I can't remember what the rest of but I know yeah. it's like a logic to mm. Wolves. Um, Detox said they also got FIA Nations League thing that just looks to, um, just took, yeah, that, that did take off, man. That was massive. And I, I remember watching like, um, like Tijney's vlogs. And obviously, Tijney also was in AOR as well on PCAST 2. I was watching his vlogs when these guys are going to Austria, they're in the mountains doing these massive events. It's like, like they're, that game just feels like it's going places. Even if the that standalone game itself, the base of the game, ain't the greatest, what they're actually doing with it is they're taking it to a different level, even though the actual game itself probably isn't as good as it should be. But it just shows you what you can do if you focus on something. You know what I mean? P, uh, Chloe says, PCAS has nice esports events, but only once a year. Um, I've only seen, well, I only saw that, that one live event that time, and I wasn't impressed, to be honest. Not, not compared to what other people are doing. I honestly think Air Walker could have thrown something better, if, I, if I'm being yeah. truthful. You know? Um, I feel like Air Walker could... I think they'd get a better turnout if Air Walker threw something. Mm. You know? But um, it, I just... I don't know, man. It just seemed everything's just done. Uh, once the game comes out, once they make the money... It's like, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll just try and save a few dollars here and there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy that no one, um, David Wright says, no one's going to beat Gran Turismo. I'm mm. not going to lie. And I've said this how many times. I don't rate the game itself. I just rate what they're doing with it. And like, it's one platform, though. PCAS 2 is on three different platforms. You could have a competition and you're getting people from PS4, uh, Xbox and console that's f like three times as much you know what I mean you should be dwarfing um, GT Sport and I honestly think GT Sport is its main competitor I don't think a set of Corsa and all these games are Project Cars main competitor because um, a set of and all these things they're not on all on all platforms like Competition it's only on PC at the moment so I feel like they, there's an avenue definitely for, for Project Cars but they got to learn a little bit from what GT Sport have done. I think, nah, listen, we've got a better game. Do you know what I mean? Our game, 
we've got the GT3s that are proper GT3s, not just a car stuck a GR3 flipping tag on the side of it. Oh, yeah. GR4. Yeah, you know I mean, like, <laughs> and you've seen some of the cars on the uh, on GT Sport. It's like what? Oh, how's that a GT? Futuristic ones as well, like yeah, 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 like like stuff. <sighs> it. And then like when I see them driving these make believe tracks, I can't do it. That to me mm. is no. This is where P cars P cars can actually say you know what listen we'll go get this track we'll go get that track like for me like race room race room's got a bunch of real tracks on there that most people don't know but at least they're a real track you know what mm. i mean like just get a load of tracks get a load of tracks sort your bop out you know what i mean these little things in the game sort the physics out better force feedback better driving style and it's not going to be that hard you know what I mean? Mm. Imagine we had all the good things from P Cars 2 and had it in P Cars 1. You know what I mean? Would have been decent. Yeah. It would have been a properly decent game. And I know on P Cars 1, people say, oh, the Z4 was too fast, the M3 was too fast. When the Bentley came out, it was way too fast and all that kind of stuff. But the racing was better, 100%. It was, it was definitely better to watch, I can tell you that much. Because I've I been watching, I watched AOR. Um, what's it? Uh, Project Cars leagues. I tell you how long. I remember a guy called Brownski, Mini Black, F1 Massa. I remember all the names from back in the day because that's how hard I used to watch this stuff. Yeah, and then now it's just mm -hmm. like, pfft, just it's not the same, man. It's not the same. And back then it was like close races all the way through. You know what I mean, guys were able to use like three or four different cars at least. Now I just feel like Lambo. Um, oh, Mercedes. Mercedes. That's it. None. Nothing else worth like to win a championship. There's nothing else worth driving. I mean, yeah. unless you're a ridiculous alien or a De Heidi or someone like that. You know what I mean, and it, the difference is, is like the Z4 didn't even feel nice to drive on P cars too. Like, I don't know what the Heidi did to that setup, but it didn't feel nice to drive. You know what I mean, it didn't. It didn't definitely did not feel how it felt on P cars one. That's for sure. I mean, then you had cars like the Aston Martin, which had the weirdest balance I've ever felt in a car, ever. What was that Aston Martin on P Cars 2? It just felt so weird. I don't even think I've driven it. You never, bro. Yeah. It's only got like two, you can only go up to two wing. You can, only go two up to two, wing. you can only go up to two wing. The car just felt weird. I don't know what it was. It just felt like a very weird car. And I drove the Aston Martin on P Cars 1 for a season in AOR, and I loved it. But then I jumped in on P-Cars 2 and the car just felt like awful. And I think that was the biggest thing. Some cars on P-Cars 2 felt decent. And other cars felt like, what the hell is that? You know I mean, the physics on, that, on some of the cars was just like crazy. Didn't even understand. Yeah, I, I feel like, um, I feel like in, in Elwa especially, um, like now we're seeing not all of the fast guys, but a lot of the fast guys leave. Especially if you watch like, if you ever watch like the tier two races and stuff like that, you get a lot bigger mix in them tiers because, you know, it's not ultra, not, I wouldn't say ultra competitive, but it's not like people just want to drive what they enjoy driving. Whereas in the top tiers, everyone wants to win. So it's just like, I'm going to drive what gives me the best chance to win. So everybody just ends up in the same car. I mean, and that's just, that's just the problem. When you, when you start, like, I guarantee you now, if you had a competition on P cars, you can pick free choice in the GT3. The track was Catalonia, bro. You're going to see 90% Lamborghinis. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it shouldn't be like that. You should be, you should, with, I think P cars had 16 GT3 cars. Like, this is, this is what got me upset. I was like, yeah, so what are we going to do? We're gonna give them a load of GT3 cars. So we're gonna give them gonna give them the 2015 Bentley, a 2016 Bentley, and a 2016 Bentley. That's the endurance version with yellow lights. But they're all gonna be the same car and they're all gonna be the same speed. What is the point of wasting your resources to do that? Give us one Bentley and just make it a bit better, innit? Why why are you messing around making all these different Bentleys and they're all the same flipping pace? The setups were exactly the same. It didn't make no sense to me. Waste of time. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to give you the endurance Audi and then we're going to give you the normal Audi. And the only differences are going to be a few liveries and yellow lights. What? 
Why don't you just get the BOP closer to where it needs to be? And after you've seen the BOP, after you, you've joined up with AOR and, you know, you've got a lot of the top drivers on the game racing in that league and you've seen the differences in the cars, why would you not use that information to adjust your BOP accordingly? So people don't feel like they have to be in a Lamborghini. Even if you look at the picture that I've got on the screen, and this is me probably like mid-pack or towards the back, is how many Lamborghinis in this shot already? You know what I mean? Like one, yeah. two, three, like it's crazy. Cool. Yeah. So like this this is what happens, man. But um I read some of your comments. Chloe said there's a good mix because the field is nowhere close to earlier seasons. People race for fun, not for the win. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. You know what I mean? If you're racing for the win, especially when the game first comes out and everyone's ultra competitive, before they their their confidence gets killed by like Wolf and Jardia and stuff, you know what I mean? And then Everyone just wants to jump in. Look at, look at that season where everyone picked the Ferrari. Everyone picked the Ferrari. You know what I mean? That season was the most annoying season. I tell you that. I remember watching the PC races. Um, this is when we were still on PS4. And all I, want is, was, all I wanted was Tijni to win. I didn't care. In fact, all I wanted to see was Tijni win. I'm telling you, when he won that Zolder race, mate, I was happy for the guy. Because it was just like, oh. he was in the Audi. And I remember that race because it started raining and he just didn't pit, and he just stayed out in the wets, just refused to pit. You know what I mean? You say, her, what's it? Cryptic. <laughs> Her, cryptic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I remember him staying out, and then he won. I just wanted him to win. You know what I mean? And then after that, it was just like, it's crazy. But I, I'm, I, was, I think that was a race where <laughs> the steward's inquiry room was too funny. Like half the field got excluded. A corner cutting. It was too funny. You know wow. what I mean? Andrix had a field day that day. That was hilarious. <sighs> but um friggin' Yeah, man. I remember everyone just Ferrari, 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 Ferrari. I was like, what? I mean, how can everybody be in a Ferrari? I'll tell you what don't make sense to me, yeah. Um, it's the fact that like what you were saying earlier, there's sixteen cars and only two of them are good. Hmm. <laughs> so it's just like there is no balance, is there, between all the cars. Yeah, stuff. it's just two dominant cars you're either in those two because if you're not in those two you're not competitive yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. um two, I can never say your name man it's a Mar it's, it's a Marto though isn't it I swear it's a Marto did you almost touch at Spa oh yeah 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 yeah. I thought you I thought we was going to have contact but we nah, we got through it man you know man it's cool yeah Marto yeah 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 I gotta remember that, man. I gotta remember that. We we almost touched, but it was cool, man. I almost touched uh, Lusty, and I had to drive off the track. Otherwise, I was gonna smash him off the track. By accident, but you know, Spa was yeah. a bad day. Spa was a bad. <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your Spa printer? Nah. Talk to me. <laughs> no, next episode. <laughs> next episode. <laughs> uh, right, right. Yeah, uh, that, was, that was a funny race, man. Did anyone see? Joe, you know I need to clip it on my Twitch. My catch yeah. at the top of our rouge. Oh my god! I almost binned it. I almost binned it. It was trust me. We should do that though, like race analysis and stuff. That we. Yeah, it was crazy. That was crazy. Do you know what? Yeah, on, on a set of Corsa, we're gonna talk about a set of Corsa for a split second when we get back to speed cars. Yeah, on a oh. set of Corsa, there is definitely that moment when you think shit, and there's nothing you can do. There's definitely yeah. that moment when you hit the brakes, you realise you're not slowing down in time. It's like, fuck. You know what I mean? You know you're having that crash. You know what I mean? On P cars, you can save it, I would say, up to about 70% before it's actually just gone. The only thing that used to kill you on P cars is when you used to hit the curb that were, for some reason, ice. Ice? Yeah, ice. In fact, I actually watched, can you believe this? I watched the um, the race from Wednesday the P cars race on the PC and I see guys just touching the curb in a normal manner and just getting completely thrown across the track. And it's just like, what is that? When did curbs not become applicable? You know what I mean? When did curbs become Flat. this? Yeah. When, when did they become this thing that you, you're not allowed to touch while racing? You know what I mean? Like why, why, why are they so icy? On P cars, why they're so dangerous on P cars? I can understand if the track's wet and you touch a curb and it throws you off. That's understandable, but at, at um 
Laguna Seca, when the track conditions looked pretty damn hot, why were guys being thrown left, right, and centre by a curb? And that's another thing I didn't like. You know what I mean? Especially because it stopped me from winning Laguna Seca once and put me straight in the wall. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that. Yeah, yeah. But I might have said in that moment I had one pitcher enter in the corner and then smooth again at the exit. I, do you know what? I didn't. I broke a little early and you broke a little bit late. And it looked like we might touch, but nah, man, it was cool. I don't mind that as long as, as long as when we get through it, it ain't no no apologies needed. I think the race before I dive bombed someone by accident, and I mean I proper dive bombed him. I can't say his name, but I know he's in like a green, white, and red Bentley. And I absolutely dive bombed him, stuck him on the outside of turn one at Nurburgring. And I didn't even mean to. I broke so late. It was like, it's the only thing I could do. I had to throw it up the inside. Otherwise, we were having contact. And yeah, but um, we got through it. But what was that guy that said PCAS 2 has a, a great future? He still hasn't explained his comment. You know what I mean? Oh, um, what that Conan Belgium guy? Yeah, Conan, Conan Belgium. Where's your, where's your... Where's your point to this? Project Cars has a great future. No, it has a future. I just don't know how great it is. I don't know if the the community, obviously they're still going to have their fans, but does the community trust trust them to come out with something that's going to be lasting? Obviously, we're gonna, I think we're going to have a long wait to even answer that question. And maybe that's a smart thing to do. Maybe they're thinking, ah, oh, let's not bring out a game while all these, like, you know, or Ballista's going to be coming out, uh, set a course of competition, hasn't been out that long. Let's not. Let, let's wait until them games die down a bit, and then we try to hit them with something. That's probably their best tactic they can use. But they're gonna make people wait this long. It better be. It better be decent, or else. I mean, ain't no one gonna trust them again. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, uh, that's what I mean. It, it happened with a. Uh, it happened with Pro Evolution Soccer. I used to play that game oh, religiously. Yeah. You know what I mean, hey. but when, but when that started coming out and they. They they still couldn't get the licenses and like, it was like uh nah FIFA, you know what I mean? Had to make that switch. You know what I mean? They they lost they lost the trust, man. You actually hope uh, P Cars Three won't focus on GT Threes. We have AC for that. That's a good point. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. You know I reckon I mean? they should focus on like DTM or oh, yeah. like you know touring cars and stuff. Can you imagine that if they had like like proper DTM? DM, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a proper DTM championship or a proper like world touring. I know Race Room's got it, but... You can you edit know. your own livery. Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. All of that. That would be crazy. I mean, and these are the little things that they could do to, you know, bridge that gap. And they, they'll be focused on the areas where other games, mm. where other games, you can't do the same. You can't do that in a set You know what I mean? Mm. A proper GT4 it's championship. Buzz, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You create a big buzz. Oh, detox told off by my stream streamer. Lice. <laughs> um, not going to happen as long as they're associated with AOR. Yeah. I mean, A listen, AOR, AOR's doing what they have to do for, for themselves at the end of the day. But I feel like uh, this, this is just my personal opinion. I feel like AOR would be better off if they focus on the, if a set of course is the best avenue for GT threes, let that be the main GT three focus on your website. F one is the main focus for F one. I wouldn't want to see a, a P cars F one league. In fact, I know they do. They were doing a um, I think they were doing a set of course at F one. Yeah, a, a set of course at F one league or or something like that with um oh yeah the 2000 yeah 2000 yeah 2000 i don't want to see that bro like yeah. all i want to see like you've got the f1 in the game let that be the focus for your f1 you know what i mean don't pour loads of different things in to try and be or get like forget all that because it'll, it'll become a shadow effectively as yeah, well, yeah yeah exactly and it's no, like it's like almost taking away one audience from you know what i mean Another. yeah that way if you had the same like if you had a dirt championship it's like it's like having a dirt championship on P cars when you've got dirt the game. Don't make any sense. Do you know what I mean? Forget the GT threes for P, for project cars. Leave that to a settle and focus on that to as much as you can on a settle. 
do another championship for P-Cars. I don't know whether it's GT4s or like Chloe said, LMPs and GTs, like an endurance league, which would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Focus on that as your main championship. Do you know what I mean? And and because, because the game will be new, everyone will play it. Everyone will be into it. Especially if you can have like, you know, if they improve their grid size. And it'll be quality. Do you know what I mean? Let F1 mm. do their thing. Focus on that. I mean, let every game that you're playing have a different sort of a different, I would say, genre or different class. And then each day everyone tunes into AOR, there's something completely different on, but all the championships are done at the highest standard possible. You know what I mean? Now I'm looking at P cars. There's, there's no, you know what I mean? There's no co-commentator. There's only one person commentating. It's the same for, um, for a set of course are where really if they just, you know, Chuck two guys on a set of, chuck two guys on P cars, and just have it like just more structured, isn't it? That's just my opinion. But, um, uh, Emma says, wait, but what happens in Airwa? Um, I'm not, what do you mean? I think he said he was leaving and then, so oh, right, right, he was gonna, say. yeah, me, me okay. personally, anyway, I, I, that's what I think. I mean, I don't like to see. I don't like to see anything half done. You know what I mean? When I know, I've seen um, some of the live like commentaries for AY in the past, and it was crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I like to see. I like to have, especially. I like to have two commentators because it's easier for them to to bounce off each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> but um, yeah, I would just like to see that. I don't want to see no side leagues and this F1 series on this game and another F1 series on another game is like, like, nah, F1's for F1. Keep it that way, innit? You know what I mean? But, I don't know, man. I don't know. But all in all, uh, PCAR's free. I think we're all, all likely to buy it. Just oh, like, yeah, I'll buy it. Oh, yeah, we're all likely to buy it. But, mm. um, whether it can keep me, because I'm not going to do what I did with this project, cars. Definitely, I'm not, I'm not going to continue playing it when I'm not enjoying it anymore. You know what I mean, I know that much because I I played it for a long time after I stopped enjoying it, just really because I was making setup videos and stuff like that. But I was making setup videos knowing that ninety percent of this game is your driving style. You know what I mean, yeah. you can you can get quick off of a setup, but really the way you're really gonna get quick is if you just learn how to drive the game. It's almost like it's almost like playing FIFA and and. You know, some people play FIFA and they want to pass the ball around like and play it like it's real football and stuff like that. And then other people play FIFA and they just know the how the FIFA way. You know what I mean? You don't have to you don't have to play through your midfield, you just have to be able to run with the ball, do a couple of skills and then you're in. You know how to finish, that's it. You know what I mean? They're not trying to play in a realistic way at all. And that's how I felt about P cars. You know what I mean? I felt like the main essence of driving kinda of taken away because you just do whatever's fast. I even started driving in roof cam. Me, you know, oh, roof yeah. cam. You know what I mean? It was like, I actually felt the need. <coughs> like, no, I actually have to drive in roof cam because I feel like I'm at a disadvantage if I stay in in car. You know what I mean? If it me to switch to roof cam, nah, I, I can never do that again. I'm not doing it. Yeah. I only did that when I went over to PC though. Yeah, that's it. I felt like, no, 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 no. Like this sounds going on. You know what I mean, like, where, like, where's this six temps coming from, bro? Where, where's this? <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean, where, where's this six temps? Like, I've lost, I've lost six temps. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're looking at wheel ratio, yeah. force speed. Yeah, up. exactly. I started like change wheel ratio, changing. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean, let me let me check my pedals. Yeah. Let me check my accelerators going all the way down. Let me just, you know what I mean? I was doing all sorts like and roof cam. You know what I mean, me. Nah, after that it was just like that. I'm not playing this game no more. I can't do it. I can't do it because I'm I'm changing my I'm changing myself. I can't do that. You know I mean, driving style as well. Yeah, and, and I realized as well. I realized um, friggin', that when I played any other game and jumped back on P cars, I was slower because I would jump on race room, and I mean race room's not the most realistic game in the world, but you have to drive somewhat normally. And then I jumped back on P cars and I was so much slower because I'm trying to, I'm not slamming down the gears. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm trying to drive how I was driving a race room and I was just losing time. And then after that, I said, you know what? Not playing it. No more. 
Um, David Wright says, I just want them to fix the track cutting. That's a yeah. good point. That I remember that a lot, of, yeah, a lot, a lot of penalties were bullshit. You know what I mean, sometimes you get away with cuts that you shouldn't be able to, and there's some cuts where you didn't even cut, you losing time, and you're still getting a three second penalty. Then you hit the brakes to get rid of it, and then you lose about five seconds and still get a penalty. You know what I mean, now that was annoying. If you if you got a it got to the point where you might as well just take the penalty, just take the three seconds, man. It's easier. What was I mean, it like a countdown thing where you where you slow down and then yeah you the used to remember you used to, yeah you used to come up with the warning on the screen and then yeah. um and then it just used to be like a like you you'd have to slow down but sometimes you would cut just a little bit sometimes you know you'd go off track maybe to avoid someone and then it would give you the bloody um, countdown message and then you're like what but you know what I mean I'm trying to avoid this dude you know what I mean and then you keep on driving and then all of you know. Three second penny. You know I mean, and what was crazy was sometimes you'll get one second, and next time you might get three. <laughs> next time you might get ten. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. It was just yeah. like random pennies just given out. And then there's other tracks where you blatantly cut the corner and the thing just disappears. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I think around Nurburgring you could do that. Yeah, that was it? all mad. That was oh. all mad. I think it's turn four, turn three, running over like you know the right hander. Yeah, yeah. I'm never good at explaining these things, uh, but you can run so wide over to the left, didn't it? Oh, you're talking about the first sector? The first sector, yeah. Right, 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 right. You can, run, yeah, yeah. You can get away with so much curve there well, when I was racing. Anyway, but... Oh, yeah. One thing I missed out. The rain on a set of Corsa. That's not a set of Corsa. It's in my mind, okay? With Project Cars, yeah. yeah? yeah. Did you notice the difference in... When the rain on P on PS4 and the rain on PC, I swear to God, the rain on PS4, yeah, had way quicker. Oh my God, <laughs> it had so <laughs> much more grip. It was yeah. ridiculous. Like, yeah. I came to PS4. I I remember we used to watch. Remember after our races on PS4, we always used to watch the Elite Race. Yeah, we yeah. used to sit in the um, PS4 chat party and and watch the Elite Race, and then. We used to look at these guys like, wow, why are these guys so slow in the rain, man? Yeah. Like, oh, I was like, oh, when we get to PC, we're going to be destroying it. You know what I mean? We must be rapid in the rain or something. Yeah. Came to PC, that grip was not there at nope. all. You know Gone. what I mean? Gone. I was like, wow. You know what I mean? That's why these guys are going so much slower. If you look at the majority of PS4 races in the rain on AOR, um YouTube channel, watch how fast they are compared to PC. It's crazy. It was so much more grip. I even felt like there was just less rain on the track. Like mm. the conditions are exactly the same, but there's a hundred percent less rain on the track. Um, yeah, Chloe says cutting like crazy, or rouge, and no penalty. Um, yeah, see little stuff like that just annoys me, man. Literally, I tell you what though, I I, I do miss um, Project Cars as El Rouge after what I've experienced on a set of courses El Rouge. I mean, yeah. I don't remember yeah. having not even half the issues from PCAR 3 hours. Yeah, no, for me, the, the set of course of Spa, that's like, that's like a crap track. Oh, I'm, like, I have no confidence in that corner. Mm. I have no confidence. Like, every time in that race, I try to take it flat, I just completely cut the corner. I'll be honest. I have cut the corner or I almost binned. I mean, it's a scary corner. I don't even know why. Set up for uh, that kind of track as well. Because mm. the pit lane's long, you got to go out the long way. you got to go back in and then go out the long pit lane again. You uh, know. That's, that's, listen, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always making setup videos and stuff. That's one of the reasons why I don't like probably make setup, like race setup videos for, for Spa. It's just because I don't want to drive out the long ass pit lane every time <laughs> I make a mistake. You know what I mean? It's. Yeah. You know, like sometimes you jump back to the pitch here, yeah, you want to get another lap in, and you realize actually, raw, I need about three minutes, three, like three and a half minutes to make sure I get a lap in because the pit lane's so long. You know what yeah, I mean, exactly. it could take you like over a minute just to get out. It's crazy. You know what I mean, but that that is the actual GT3 pit lane, isn't it? So it is what it is, man. But um, yeah, Project Cars, man. I hope that they do something different. I hope that they do all the things that we said. Do you know what I mean? I hope they really, really try and like focus on a particular class, not GT3, 
like GT4, as Chloe said, LMPs and stuff like I that. I say DTM. Even DTM, so, DTM, touring cars, anything like that. British. Yeah, yeah. Like properly focus on it and give mm. it a good BOP and then you will have something that no other game's got. Well, I say no other game. No other game on all platforms mm. has got. You know what I mean? Because Race Room's got a lot of this stuff. And Race Room's actually got a lot of the stuff that I would want to play. It just don't have the community. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, Project Cars will not have that problem. You know what I mean? Project Cars is on three different platforms. If Project Cars took a lot from what Race Room had, Project Cars would be a beast of a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'd still be playing it now. Yeah, that's it. Um, Chloe said, that's the thing. Racing is supposed to be scary. I have chills driving around Brands or Spa. You scared of Brands? I'm not scared of Brands. Yeah, Brands is nice. Yeah, Brands is decent. I like Brands. Yeah. Spa, uh, though. It's spa, yeah. <laughs> Spa's a weapon. Brands, <laughs> Br- Brands only gets a bit sketchy when the tires start going up a bit and you start feeding the sliding because you know there, there's, a, there's, n- there's only a certain amount of sliding you can take before you're binning it. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, Spa, El Rouge, that's the only corner for me. That's it. El Rouge, Radion. That's the only thing I mean, that scares me. Puon as well for me. El Rouge um, and Puon. I mean, Puon, that depends what car you're driving. If you're in the Lexus, then I understand. Damn. In the Bentley, it's no problem, boss. No problem, boss. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, man. Hopefully, let's let's just, let's just let's just see better things from them. I'm not this time. I'm not getting my hopes up. Last time, I got my hopes up. Um, I got my hopes up with Pcast Two. Thought it was gonna be the greatest game ever, and I was disappointed in the end. So this, I'm going into the next project cars with an open mind, and I'm hoping that they they do what they need to do. But obviously, in between them, we're probably gonna get Auto Ballista, which should be out this year, I think. Is it? I think so. Whoa. So um, that's going to be interesting. I mean, that is also a game that we're probably all gonna get. What is it like a multi-genre sort of? Just say I genre. believe so. I believe so. Multi-class. Yeah, Definitely. I believe so. It's been delayed. David Wright, man, you you're upsetting me right now. Uh, well, but this has been delayed, man. Jesus. But look, at least we got a set of course. I'm actually quite looking forward to the next set of course at DLC because. I uh, listen. We're not. We're not actually realizing what these guys did, man. They gave us all these cars for free for nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean, and ninety percent of the cars they gave us feel great, drive great, sound great. Do you know what I mean? Mm. The only for me, the only disappointment for me was the NSX. What's happening, Freaky Bot? How you doing, man? The only disappointment for me was the new NSX because I can't distinguish the difference between that one and the old one. Um, the S3 is scary when you're driving on the edge. Sector 3. Oh, Sector 3 at Brands. I get you. Over that curb, over that fast right-hander can be a little bit scary. But again, that definitely depends on what car you're driving. You know what I mean? If you're driving something like a Lambo, then most circuits and most tracks at most times are kind of scary. You know what I mean? But I think it's all right in the Bentley. I'm actually not looking forward to Zolder at all. I don't even want to practice for that. I'm just going to show up qualify my normal um disgraceful self and then whatever happens in the race is whatever happens in the race man i know i'm a way better racer than qualifier so i just it's older i don't like the track at all at all i don't like the track on any game because i can't distinguish how much i'm supposed to be cutting you know what i mean i feel like i've cut a lot and then i see someone else go for the corner and it was like there weren't even a corner there you know what i mean yeah. Yeah. I just, you know, like, it's like when you get into a fight and when you get into a fight at school and you don't want to be the first person to throw the first punch because you're going to get in the most trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you hit me first. Yeah, yeah. If he hits you first, <laughs> it's all right if you beat him up. But yeah, if you're the one that throws the first punch and you're the one that's getting in trouble. Like, I'm yeah. waiting to see the people cut before I cut. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll start cutting. Because that, that's what happens. That's why I don't like Zolder. That's why I've never liked it on any game because I feel like you can just cut way too much. You know what I mean? You're, you're, on Zolder is one of the only tracks where your lap, your lap time at the end of, of your lap is determined by how much you cut. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, in real life, though, they do cut quite a bit of that chicken. Oh, they take the piss. But that's why I, I think saying. in real life is wrong as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. I remember... Because they designed the track wrong. 
that you know she came what? three two times. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, pit stop. What's the top GT3 car in Project Cars 2? I personally think it's the Lamborghini. Some people might say it's the AMG, but I feel like when all the top guys are together, the Lamborghini wins out more time than not. My personal opinion, I think it's the Lambo. Um, the the AMG is competitive too, but I think the Lambo is better on tire wear, though, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I just I just think it's just a, a better all round car. The best handling yeah, car, I think the Audi handles pretty nice. You know what I mean, but as of this moment, I would still say it's the Lamborghini, personally. But um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, Zoda. Zoda, yeah, Zoda, yeah, Zoda. I I don't like on any game, personally. I I don't think, I don't think your lap time should be determined by how much you take off of a chicane. I think that's bollocks. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you you're always gonna you're always gonna gain a load of time by cutting. Detox Auto Ballista 2 release pushed back to March 2020. March is the month of my birthday. I will take it because I have a holiday off work that I've already booked. And if I can get, if it lands at the correct time and I've got a week off to slap some Auto Ballista, hey, I'm not upset. And the only reason why I'm not that upset that it's been delayed is because right now we have a set of courses to keep us company. But I, I was looking forward to playing it. You know, I've been. You reckon you'll play that more when that comes out, then? Ooh, no. I tell you why not. Well, I don't know. I don't know. So it depends what they got. Um, yeah. It depends, like you know, if there's like a load of modding in it and stuff like that. You can't. You know what I mean? You can't. I'm not going to shun a game and say I won't play it when I've never played the first one. I don't have any expectations of it, so I'll have to play it and see. But um, I'm not going to be just putting down a set of courses. That's what I'm not going to do. You know what I mean? Definitely not. I'm seeing some of the stuff they're coming out with. I'm impressed. I didn't actually think that they would have a lot of DLC on this game. So to get, you know, six new cars already, to get Zamvort, we know we're getting Bathurst and uh, um, Suzuka, uh, that Kialami. They're giving us some decent tracks, man. I mean, what, what, what game has got the actual Suzuka apart from F1? I mean, I swear, iRacing's got it. But, um, you know, Kill Army, a track that was an old school South African track. What game's got that? Nothing. You know what I mean? Racing. No, Racing ain't got that. Who's got that? No one. It's a set of courses. The first set of courses has got it, but it's a mod. Oh. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're saying you. Yeah, yeah. So you I, can get a load of mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um. Oh, yeah, will they? Apart from the games mentioned, any games coming out you're both looking forward to? Um, well, one already came out. COD. Yeah, that was it. COD. That was what I was <laughs> looking forward to. Um, yeah, Call of Duty. I've been, I've been quite happy with Call of Duty, to be fair. Mm. Um, in terms of racing, I just, I was a long time really waiting for the release of ACC, so yeah. my, my dreams have already come true in, in that that respect obviously call of duty was another big one obviously i'm an old like cod was literally probably no it was my second game but it was my first love when i came to ps3 from the old gen consoles and i fell out of love with it because it just started turning stupid with running on the wall and double jumps and all this kind of unrealistic crap and this is the first cod i felt like i've enjoyed again so yeah, I was I was looking forward to COD and it's here. So yeah, I'm 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 happy. I'm content right now. Um, mm. David Wright, the content in in um, Auto Ballista Two is quite quirky. Um, Auto Ballista Two will have Kialami. Oh, nice. So it'll be yeah, interesting. That's what, that's, that looked interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I watched, man. I, mm. I I I watched a lap around that track, and it just looks decent. It just looks like a nice track to drive. Ooh. I mean, I love getting new tracks that, you know, you can't just get on any old, you can't get on any, any game. I like, that's what I like about uh, Race Room. Race Room's got so many tracks that you can't get on any other game. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what I like. Uh, and my stream, my stream, but so sensitive, man. Can't say anything mm-hmm. in there. Tells people off. Refrain from using foul language. It's funny. I've got to turn what it around. What does it actually say? 
as well because What's of that? The, is um, he actually using the, um, bad language or is it... What's that? Is he actually using bad language? Or is it just? Like... I, don't, I mean, we're all adults. People swear. Do you know what I mean? I don't. When I set it up, I just set it up without properly setting it up. So when people swear or whatever, it's just on their case. But I keep on saying I need to like tone it down a bit. But it is what it is, man. Um, but, mm. but yeah, man. Soon we gotta get on, do some more practice. Do you ever think you'll do another race on P cars again? Hey, me? Yeah, you. No. <laughs> well, no, never. No. no, 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 no. Not after. Not on P cars too. Anyway, I mean, if the uh, new one comes out and it's decent, yeah, then yeah, yeah I'll, I'll do a race on it, but not on the old one. Like, uh, I, I tried, man. You know what I was gonna do? Mm. I went. I went back on my PS4, <clears throat> and I thought, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and race all the AOR pole laps and see if I can beat it in the same condition. And I got on the game, bro, and honestly, before I even went on the track, I started thinking about how many glitches, how many times my wheel would go back to the home menu, and I just thought, do you oh, know yeah. what? Let me just come off. And I thought, why am I even on my PS4 mm -hmm. when I got a PC? You've I, just brought me back a memory now saying that, literally. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that time? I think you were winning the race. I can't remember yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was um, Sugo. So, yeah, that was... Remember that? that? The, wheels, the wheels were messing up, weren't they? they yeah, just yeah, yeah. The that, that, that's, that's the thing, yeah? If you look at... If you go back and look at my, my AOR races, yeah, there's at least two or three times where I was winning the race and it put me in a wall. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, that, that, was, that was my biggest issue, man. I remember on no, I think this is this was P Cars one, and this has been happening since P Cars one. I it was season like season five or something. I can't remember. I was in the Z four. I won the first race. The second race came. I got pole by a second. I was winning that race, and going down the back straight at Sakito, wheel just turns off, smashes me into a wall. Race done. <laughs> and I remember I just quit the season there and then. I quit the season because I knew what was coming. Because this is a, had already been happening to me previously. So I just completely just quit the season. I was done. And then um, PCAS 2, I said I was winning the race at Long Beach in a Renault, which I was so proud of. And it happened to me twice in, in two laps and completely bit me into the wall. I went from leading to being a lap down. You know what I'm saying? I was done. And then it happened to me again at Sakito. You know what I mean? And when you think about that, I lost the championship that season by a couple of points. You know what I mean? And that, that was it. That was championship gone. Just because the game keeps messing about. But um, join the endurance multi class GT one. Uh, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it, well, man. P cars too. Yeah, I can't do that. I, I can't even like. It's hard to even watch. Honestly, P cars now. It's just so far past that, man. I can't mm. even. Um, I mean, you got a set course now, man. Look, come on. Yeah, I mean, obviously, like P cars, yes, as David Wright points out, it's a much wider variety um, than GT3, which is true. But as I said, the problem was is that in that variety, in the other categories, the balance is, is wrong. I love GT4s. P cars one used to batter GT4s. Do you know what I mean? I, I drove a Janetta probably more than I drove GT3s. I drove a Janetta GT4 in P cars one, probably more than I drove GT3. But the problem was the balance is off. The Janetta is way quicker than anything else. Yeah, you know what I mean. So how can you, unless yeah. you have a same, uh, same car championship, you can't do nothing with that. You know what I mean? That's that's the problem. Even even um the GTEs weren't the Ford like rapid compared to everything else at one stage. I don't know. I think they patched it. I'm not too sure. But, um, yeah, it, balance has got to be right. Mm. I mean, what worries me is that don't they play their own games and like notice these things? Hang on a minute. Let's change this. Let's change that. You know, I just boy. I, I feel say, like way beyond me. I feel like uh, the problem with a lot of games, and this is a problem. Everyone thinks that. Excuse my language. Everyone thinks that their own shit don't stink. So instead of <laughs> instead of instead of getting. Uh, you know, getting some people that are going to give you po positive criticism and tell you what you need to improve. Getting the people 
you've got all these esports drivers available and I'm sure they wouldn't mind, you know, testing the game before its release. You know what I mean? Get them to ring the hell out of that game and find all the little nuances that need changing. Yeah. Why why not do that before you bring a game out instead of getting these people that will just like wax lyrical about your game and say how perfect it is and how great this is when you know they're probably sat there thinking oh this you know there's a few things that need changing do you know what I mean just be honest with it man you know what I mean I like, look at that David Perel he did a lot of work with a with a set of Corsa and when I watched his video about a set of Corsa he spoke openly about the things he liked and the things that he did not like and he worked with them and he's a, a real gt3 driver in real life do you know what i mean yeah. that's what that's what p car should be doing even if it's not a gt3 driver get a real life driver who's going to be open to critique the game in all the areas where it's not up to the standard mm. do you know what i mean yeah. because it's only going to benefit them in the long run so that's what i feel like they need to do i just felt like especially how they used to react on twitter to people sometimes people weren't even criticizing like that harshly and i remember going i always used to be on the project cast forums and the reaction they used to get from some of the um moderators was like basically just shut up you know what i mean don't like it come off the site kind of do you know what i mean like it's like what you know what i mean yeah. and then after that i was like i was like nah these guys man like they don't care they don't care yeah. that's the problem man if they, they have that sort of um Mental. arrogance yeah yeah that arrogance where well you bought the game now in it we've got no money what do you want to do <laughs> like, do you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. But it is what it is, man. Hopefully to get rid of all the snow, all that. So actually, not the snow. Get rid of the rally. I don't think there's no space for rally. No, no one cared about the rally. Get rid of that. DTM, touring cars, um, even like the real cars, road cars and stuff like that. It's not my, yeah. I'm not really interested in it, but imagine if you could like, uh, like kit up get road cars you can kit them up oh what like, the, like bumpers Put bumpers on them you know what I mean? yeah, yeah all that you know what i mean and then mm. you then you got your little photo gallery you know what i mean yeah. top top photo of the week top cards you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah have like it doesn't you know what i mean you, they can do so much with a game because they're not it's not like there's some official gt3 or official flipping touring car game they can they literally have a blank canvas they can paint any picture they want they can do whatever they want you know what i mean mm. so don't try and give us um don't be good or average at everything but great at nothing you know what i mean yeah that's that's what i feel p cars was it was average at everything but it was great at nothing you know what i mean be great at something even if you got to throw away some other flipping class you got set up that no one uses mm. you know what i mean yeah, do you know I what? Before, of course, no. Like, oh, no, no, so no. I said, uh, I was saying before I set a Corsa, mm. obviously P cars was the game to play, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, pretty much. Because of the competition. Mm. Uh, well, you we say that, but on PS4, people started definitely, people just started leaking off towards GT Sport 100%. Yeah. You know what I mean? People just, they went, and a lot of people didn't even go to race. They just went because they could create their own liveries. I mean, oh, yeah. as you can see on the screen, I created my own livery for the Ferrari, but you got to jump on Photoshop and all sorts. And you can only run the livery if you give it to the person who's actually running the stream so people can actually see it. You know what I mean? So it's not like, it's not the way it should be, in it? Like, they, there's, they can they can set it up properly. You know what I mean? Like, mm. they, they should be able to set it up properly. But with, with what they should be able to do, I, I would love to see it if you could, you know, have your own custom car. You know I mean, kit it up. I don't know if you gain a certain amount of points or whatever online or whatever. I don't know how they're going to work it out, but you know, you can, you can use stuff to kit your car up. You know what I mean, make it look sick, photo galleries, all sorts. I want to see all that. Yeah. You know what I mean, I think if they went into more depth of like parts and stuff, just the little things. Yeah. 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 Same. Yeah. Tune your car. Tune you know your car. Yeah. 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 I mean, look at Grand Turismo. That's how, that's how they've done it. Yeah, and yeah. Look where they are now because of it. Yep. It doesn't take a scientist to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. What I'm for real, when you think about um, Grand Turismo, like, how long that game's been out, and I played Grand Turismo way back. 
That's the thing, Ron. That's that's actually all I used to do. This is yeah. before we had online racing. All I used to do was have a car and just mm. kit it up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Stage three engines, all sorts, throwing the turbo, you know what I mean? Um, reduction kit. I was doing all that sort of stuff. Like body parts and stuff to it, you know, change. Yeah, yeah. Like those little things. That's literally what I used to do. Like, mm. uh, I didn't even used to really race. I just used to want to kick the car up. You know what I mean? Make that it was look it. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You can do that and then have online races, online custom races with your custom kit of cars. Like, come on. I mean, look at them free ideas right there. Free ideas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need to get a pattern on that. Yeah, or a pattern on. where it is. Hold on. Let me just... I'm going to download this stream and put it on a disc and send it back to myself. Copyright. <laughs> you know, just in, just yeah. in case. Just in case. But, um, yeah, man. But uh, we'll, we'll see in it. But um, yeah, what's it been? It's been an hour and 40 minutes. Time flies when we're talking about racing. It really does. It's crazy. Um, um three minutes already. Already, hour and wow. forty minutes. Looking at the time, it's ten to ten, pretty much. Um, but yeah, but yeah, two weeks time, man. That'll be the next sim racing podcast. What are we talking about next time, man? What what should we talk about? You lot give us a topic. I don't know. I mean, we can talk about the new cars and a set of course of competition, or we could talk about something else. And we'll see, yeah. see what you guys want to talk about. I mean, there obviously there's games that we haven't played. Like, um, I haven't actually what paid off at all. Yeah, we could talk about the new cars. New cars. See how they're getting on. And this actually, let's ask Chloe a quick question. When is the swap for new cars allowed in AOR? When are we allowed to swap to the new cars? The 2019 patch. I know it's, I don't know if it's coming in for this race. I don't know. Let me yeah, but it. I think there's a rule against that. I thought it was after the fourth race of the season, halfway through. I'm not too sure. I haven't really, I haven't actually been in the forum to read properly. I just literally press my alerts and that's it. It's allowed already. Yeah, you can how do sh- it. How sh- do you lose points? For Zolder. So do you lose points? For Zolder. It's done. I've already switched detoxes. Yeah. Wow, wow. What, McLaren, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> McLaren. Hey, right, listen. My missus is becoming a whiz on Photoshop, man. She's already been able to make a cartoon picture of herself. She's trying to do this YouTube thing and this Twitch thing as well, man. She's doing all right. I'm proud. But, um, Good. One free change allowed. Oh, why are you not trying to make me busy? Why are you not trying to make me... Li- listen, I wasn't going to practice until Sunday. Honestly, now I've got to go and drive around Zold in a bunch of different cars in a track I don't even like. I'm thinking, I might be a brave guy and jump in that Porsche. I know I'm going to crash at some stage, but I know the Porsche is at least quick. I don't know. Let's see. We'll see. Now, now I've got something to do. That's the thing, though. If you change to the Porsche, yeah, yep. I think you're stuck with that for the whole season. I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know that car's lethal. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. but you know what? I'm just gonna get on the game. I'm just gonna drive. I'm do just do a bit of driving. You know what I mean, um, and see see what it is. Um, yeah, man. Let's we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the, yeah. The Porsche 2019 is good, man. Print on my stay in the Lexus. Nah, yeah. get him out of there. <laughs> Another yeah. thing. Can we? Is there a way to actually do deliveries on the new cars? I'm not too sure if there is because some lobbies are going. I've seen someone do a McLaren though. I've seen someone do it in McLaren. Actually, like, yeah, I did. It was in, um, someone had it in my chat. I had like a what one car? Probably one car. car. He's always good with those. Uh, I don't. I can't. I don't, can't remember who it was. It was someone. Someone had a McLaren in my chat. That's what I know. Um, if you can do deliveries, I need to test out that Porsche because I think. With deliveries, the Porsche is one of the nicest looking cars when it comes to making liveries. And so is actually the NSX, but NSX I'm not impressed with. That's the one car I, just, I don't like because it feels the same as the old one. Exactly the same. David Wright said the custom liveries look naff in ACC. My brother, I am hurt by your comments. Did you not see did you not see the Bentley that I produced 
Oh my god. With the gold <laughs> the gold plate at the back, you don't you don't like my Bentley. Um gold plate. Yeah. yeah. For some reason I can't switch my livery from the NMS to the Evo. I don't think they're allowing it for the new 2019 cars. What? Yes. Hey, hey. Don't call my Bentley. Too much bling. I mean, it's 20, <laughs> listen, 24 karat gold, man. You know what I'm saying? 24 karat gold. I'm driving that. I'm trying to put chains and stuff on there. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's all crazy, isn't it? The yeah. Lexus is pretty good around Zolder, though. Yeah, I know. I remember you was flying. One of them open lobbies. I think I think the AMG is pretty good around Zolder as well, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's the AMG. Mustard and pickle Bentley from from season one. Mustard and pickle. Was that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. I don't know what you and two days are doing with them liveries. That, your liveries are too funny. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, I didn't want to call it ugly, but now that you have. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like someone said. It's like someone's got like five buckets of paint and just went. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fuck <laughs> this car right up. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, liberal. yeah. You know what I mean, it looked like the United colors of Benetton. You know, um, back in the day, oh, yeah. Michael oh, Schumacher's yeah. Benetton back in the day. It looked like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, can't, come on! I love a fat chain around my car. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't know with our switch, man. Obviously, I'm in the Bentley. I've been driving it already. It's just like, should I finish the season? I, I don't know, man. And plus, I've got a teammate. I mean, how are you going to have a teammate in next race? and be like, you know what? Yeah, you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Oh, the, the Lister. Yeah. I remember oh. that car. You remember that? Jeez, yeah, like, yeah. Chloe knows Pretty stuff and things. things. Like, Chloe knows the Lister. I remember watching that car around Sonoma Raceway. You know what I mean? And then got to play with it on um, Gran Turismo. Yeah, man. Decent. But your Bentley didn't look nothing like that. Nothing. Yeah. No yeah. resemblance. Not related. <laughs> Not cousins. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, should I switch? I don't know. It's time to... It might actually be time to get on a set of course. I don't know about you. Uh, it looks yep. like from actually that's what I've been on. waiting for all day yeah right well we're going to end this stream here then um, and you lot give us the next topic man you give us the next topic what are we talking two weeks time you next... do like a poll isn't it like a voting poll I could do a poll I could set that up I could make that snapping um, yeah we could do and should we should we just only stick to sim racing or do we dive into the world of real racing as well. Why not? <laughs> Good do. Uh, Detox is saying the new cars on ATC. He was the first one. He got here first. So I guess that's what we're doing next. Done. Yeah, done. <laughs> he won. Winning. All right. All right then, guys. Well, we will catch you in two weeks' time. Obviously, I'll probably be streaming on... Oh, no, I won't be streaming on Sunday because F1's going to be on. Ooh. Mm, conflicted. Uh, I'll see what I can do, man. If I'll amend my schedule if I have to, um, but we'll see. No problem, yeah. David Wright. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Def definitely, definitely. Well, if you guys haven't already, make sure you follow and share this. And I'll be uploading it on YouTube in a couple of days' time for all the people. Obviously, I didn't see it live. But anyway, Crypto TMG, Brenner, I'll be back two weeks' time. And peace.